Hello, welcome to this program for design and technology. Our topic for today is electricity and electronics. We will see the difference between electrical conductors and insulators. We are going to show you how to build a simple electrical circuit. A demonstration on how to mount the electrical circuit on a piece of wood will be given. And finally, we will discuss some safety precautions that need to be observed. Electrical conductors are materials that allow electricity to flow through them. Some examples are copper, aluminium, silver and steel. Electrical insulators, on the other hand, are materials that do not allow the flow of current through them. Some examples are dry wood and plastic. We are now going to discuss about electrical circuits and components. We can use very simple components and assemble them to make electrical circuits. Some components that we might consider are cells or batteries, bulbs, wires and switch. The diagram here shows how a simple circuit can be made using the components mentioned earlier. It consists of a cell or battery, a switch to open and close the circuit, a bulb and electrical wires. A schematic diagram can be used to represent the electrical circuit. Electrical symbols have been used to denote the different components here. They are the lamp, the switch and the battery. Please note that when the switch is closed, the bulb lights on as the electrical circuit is complete. And when the switch is open, the bulb is off due to a break in the electrical circuit. Now, Mr. Tulsi is going to show you how to build an electrical circuit. Note, all experiments must be done under the proper guidance and supervision of an adult who is aware of all necessary safety factors and precautions to be taken. Hello, student. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple electrical circuit on a piece of wood. For this simple electrical circuit, we need these following components. A battery, a battery holder, electrical wires, a bulb, a bulb holder, a sliding switch, screws, and a piece of wood. Now I'm going to show you how to mount the circuit. As you can see, I have already drawn the circuit on the piece of wood and the hole are pre-drilled to facilitate the mounting process. Now I'm going to fix the battery holder.
Then I'm going to fix the bulb holder. Okay, now we connect to the battery holder to the bulb holder. I'm using the red wire for the positive terminal. As you can see, I have already soldered the wire to the switch to facilitate the mounting process. I'll fix the switch. Then I'm going to fix the black cable. Now I'm going to fix the bulb in the bulb holder. Please note that the positive terminal of the battery must always be connected with the switch. Is it? Now I'm going to test the circuit. As you can see, there is a complete flow of current around the circuit. Now I'm going to loosen one of this wire to see what happened. I will put the switch off and remove one of this wire. I put back the switch on again. There is no flow of current and the bulb doesn't light. Now I'm going to switch off the circuit and put the wire back again. and put the switch on. Well, I have come to the end of my demonstration. Thank you. This is the assembled simple electrical circuit. Now, we will do a quick recap on some safety precautions that must be taken when building the electrical circuit. Wear safety equipment. Make sure that you use the correct tools. Identify the different wires well in terms of the colors. Check your connections well and make sure that wires are properly insulated. To summarize, today you have seen the difference between insulators and conductors of electricity. You saw different components of a simple electrical circuit and also the realization of an electrical circuit. We have now come to the end of this program. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye and see you soon.